on Napoli's offensive structure, Di Lorenzo joined Ramani and Kim. The midfielders were Anguisa, Lobotka and Sielinski. Meanwhile, up front, Oliveira moved as a winger, Karabatskelia moved to the half space, Osimen was in the central channels and Lozano was on the right. Off the ball, Napoli set up with six players on Frankfurt's half. Karabatskeli joined Osimen up front, while Lozano dropped back to join the midfielders and Giza covered to Frankfurt's defensive midfielder, therefore Napoli covered really well the central channels. Thanks to their smart pressure, they forced Frankfurt to make a mistake. They placed seven players on the opponent's half, thus the opponent only could play with his striker. However, as Napoli was defending compact, the centre-backs were over the opponent's strikers and they anticipated them. Also, thanks to the pressure, they had more players for the second ball. When they recovered the ball, the midfielders had huge space up from but also Napoli's strikers could take advantage of the space between the lines. When Napoli played out from the back, they started with four at the back. Osimen dropped back to join the midfielders and also to attract the center backs, and this created a space between the opponent's center backs and full backs, because Karabatskelia and Lozano dragged to the opponent's full backs. As the center backs were progressing with the ball, Oliveira moved to the opponent's half and Karabatskeli moved to the half space. Meanwhile, the midfielders like Sielinski and Lobotka were trying to find passing lines and to create spaces. As the center backs were progressing with the ball, Frankfurt's strikers were over them, but this left a space between the midfielders and the strikers, which Lobotka occupied really well. As soon as the midfielders received the ball, Karabatskeli moved to the half space because Frankfurt's center back tried to go over Sielinski and this created a space between the fullback and the center back. In the same way, this created a 2 versus 1 on the left side. Therefore, Napoli's midfielders tried to play it to those spaces. The midfielders helped a lot in the build up because they were always performing movements off the ball in order to create a space for themselves or teammates. They occupied the space between the opponent's defenders and midfielders. As a consequence, when they received the ball, they were surrounded by four players. This created a space on both sides. Therefore, Karabatskeli could receive the ball with only one man over him. Also, Oliveira, Sielinski and Osimen tried to take advantage of the space that the midfielders created by dragging one center back. As well, Spalletti's side played direct. Anguisa dropped back to receive with a space. Lozano was dragging to the opponent's fullback. Thus, Osimen had a space behind the center backs. As soon as Anguisa received the ball, he played long with Osimen because the opponent's fullback left an onside position to Napoli's striker. But Trapp was ready to intercept the long balls. Spalletti had many variations with the ball because when they couldn't progress with three at the back, he switched with four at the back. Therefore, the fullbacks gave width to the team. Di Lorenzo had the space to receive the ball, and Lozano was always dragging to the opponent's fullback. As soon as Di Lorenzo received the ball, he knows that Lozano would perform a diagonal run between the opponent's center back and fullback. Meanwhile, Osimen was attracting to the rest of center backs. Lozano got right off his mark easily and he had the ball on the opponent's box with only one man over him. Besides, Osimen and Sielinski had a 2 vs 1 against this center back. With his first touch, Lozano moved away from his mark and had a space to shoot, but it hit the post. Osimen tried to recover the ball and he gained a penalty kick that Karabatskeli missed. Osimen's goal started on an offensive transition. Frankfurt had numerical superiority in this space, but Lobotka was quick and smart to recover the ball from a poor pass. As soon as this happened, Lozano, who dragged 
his mark to Napoli's half started to run to the free space. Lobotka played a great through ball for him. This created a 2 versus 3 for Napoli on Frankfurt's half. Lozano kept running to Frankfurt's box and Osimen moved away from the center backs. On the right time, Lozano played an amazing ball to the second post where Osimen scored. Napoli's second goal is a work of art thanks to the movements on and off the ball. Kim took the ball to Frankfurt's half. He played with Karabatskeli. Thus, Napoli had four players on the left side. Karabatskeli played back and started to run to the space because his teammate dragged to two defenders. Sielinski played a great through ball, therefore Karabatskeli received between the lines. Anguisa was on the central channels with no man over him and Osimen was dragging to the center backs. As a consequence he kept advancing with the ball till he dragged to four players and played with Anguisa. Besides, he kept running to the space that Osimen created. As soon as Karabatskeli occupied the space, Anguisa played a great through ball. When he received the ball on Frankfurt's box, he was surrounded by three players. As well, he dragged to one midfielder and this free the edge of the box for Di Lorenzo. With a great flick, he assisted to Di Lorenzo who scored. Leave your thoughts about Spalletti's tactics, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by Play by Metrica Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform. Use coupon Nasir Salad at checkout for a 10% discount.